Hi guys, today we are going to discuss on another paper, uh, Strategic Business Leader, SBL. So this will be the very first uh, examination sitting of the ACCA new integrated case study. So this is the four hour exam. Okay, so the first one was conducted on 4th of September. Okay, so uh, these questions you can download from the ACCA website. All right, so from the look at it, it's not too lengthy. Okay, so yes, they are about, uh, they are after about uh, 11 pages, excluding the cover, but uh, it's not a full question, so, uh, so not, not uh, every page fully covered. Okay, so uh, today our discussion will be centered on uh, not the whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to guide you through, I'm going to show you. Uh, so actually the integrated case study is not as difficult as it sounds. Okay, so uh, we're going to discuss on question number one. Okay, uh, we're going to focus on part A. Okay. So, and I also also will be uh, running through with you a little bit uh, later stage on question two, which is uh, quite surprising this thing came out, okay, and uh, surprising in a sense of its similarity with uh, APM, so later on towards the end of the video. Okay, so, uh, so blah, 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 okay, so very long story there. Okay, so now let us start off by, okay, so you need to go through the case first uh, before you watch the video. So prepare a briefing paper. Now, the very first thing you must take note according to the marking scheme. Now, a candidate who failed to prepare their answer uh, based on the format will never be able to collect the full professional marks. So you, you, may, you may have all your uh, analysis skills uh, perfectly correct, but uh, your failure to present in the format required uh, will not allow you to get the full professional skills marks. Okay, so do bear in mind uh, when you are doing this uh, integrated case study paper. Okay, so prepare a briefing paper for the board, which uh, A, analyze the financial and non-financial issue. Okay, fine. Uh, which will affect the final decision of whether to accept the contract to build the road in Beetle. So uh, note, a recommendation is not required. So you are supposed to identify the issue, okay, and you are not supposed to uh, act smart and give your own the recommendation. Okay, so professional skills marks are available for demonstrating analysis skills in identifying information which is relevant to the decision. Now, you see, the first thing that comes across uh, the mind of student when you read the, this question is uh, what are the models that you have to apply? Okay, now you see, this is SPL, Integrated Case Study, okay, or our the ACCA uh, strategic professional paper. So ACCA is moving in a direction where we want our graduates to be work ready. So in this case, when we are working next time, you do not actually quote a model when you explain to your CEO. Okay, you know, according to Porter, you know, uh, and so and so and so. So it's not a matter of your ability to tell your CEO what Porter says. Your CEO wants your analysis. So now, in the marking scheme, ACCA is not going to restrict your answer based on a specific model. So basically, students will not be penalized if they use different model to analyze the answer. Okay, or if you don't have any model, okay, but you are able to identify all the relevant issues explaining to the questions being asked, you will be given equal credit okay so now let's come back to this so in short model is still there to stay okay but the issue here is from student perspective is if we are not going to use any model then how are we going to answer so student being student you need certain form of guideline okay or guidance over here so what i'm going to suggest is when you look at this okay this particular question requirement. So analyze the financial and non-financial issues. Okay, so two financial and non-financial issues which will affect the final decision of whether to accept. Okay, so that means this question relate to a strategic choice. So an entity is going to make a decision on whether they should accept 
or not the contract to build the road. And the final decision should be based on considering the financial and non-financial issue. Okay, I would suggest to students that once you know that this is strategic issue, actually there are several things that you can use in your discussions of the answer. Okay, so the first one is to use the SAF model. Okay, so a student can actually apply the SAF model and you are going to be able to get the relevant point as well. Okay, now what if students are not using the SAF model? Okay, now you, you, will, be, you will still be given equal credit. Okay, if let's say you are talking about strategy. Okay, now we know well, okay, you know, if you have been under me in my class, now you know well that, you know, when we formulate our strategy, we have to consider our mission, and then moving on your mission, you have to consider uh, aspects such as your past health, okay, and also uh, we will be looking at uh, issues, okay, such as your SWOT analysis. Okay, so these are some of the issues that you can use or some of the models that you can use, okay, but you have to be careful no matter what are the model that you are applying to this question, you must group them under the heading financial or non-financial, else you are going to lose your marks. So my suggestion is, besides complying with the format required, briefing paper, now I would strongly suggest that you split your answer into financial and then you start giving your points and then you have no, uh, non-financial and then you start giving your point. Okay, so now I'm going to guide you through of how we apply what we learned in my class to derive the answer. Okay, so in this question, you are given 18 marks. So I believe you will need to identify total of nine issues, a mixture of financial and non-financial issues. So with proper explanations from the question, you will get two marks for each issues identified. Okay, now let's uh, do a quick recap of what you might have, or what we would have covered within the class. Okay, so our SAF model, so it starts off with suitability. So when we start off with suitability under the SAF model, so basically suitability over here means we are looking at the strategy and considering the suitability of the strategy. Okay, so we will consider the suitability of the strategy in terms of the organization's strategic position. So this will need us to consider three aspects. Number one, which is the organization goal, SWOT, and also the risk of this strategy. So three things that you have to consider. Now, applying this to the exam question, now, the very first thing, organization goal. Okay, if you were to look back uh, on the case study, okay, so you have to run through, obviously, you have to run through this question first before you even attempt uh, to look through this video. Now, According to the question over here, uh, one of the appendix, now CC requires a stream of successful bids and uh, projects to deliver value. It cannot commit to too many bids nor accept project, which is insufficient. So the board is considering specifying so a minimum profit margin of 8% for most of the project. So apparently the board wants to go for a minimum target of 8%. Okay, so this should form a two marks discussion in your exam. Don't let it go. So the organization's minimum target is 8%. So elaborate from there. So you have information. You have information that enables you to evaluate whether the project will yield a return of 8% or not. Okay, so from here, now we can actually see exhibit 3. So over here, now you can see that your cost is 19 million 
and you have a total revenue of uh, 21 so this gives you a profit of 2 divide 2 billion divided by 21 billion because it's a profit margin not so profit to sales so that will give you about uh, 9 uh, 0.5 percent so that means now these are things that will give you two marks because number one you relate to the financial issue okay where the organization target okay this is a financial issue organization target eight percent okay so and you prove that this project is suitable okay because it yield a projected profit margin of 9.5 okay now besides this all right uh, what else that we can raise okay now we can also talk about the risk involved the site uh, software okay the site software all right now basically from the question okay this is definitely a non-financial issue now uh, we were told okay that we are going to have a site smart initiative okay so we are going to introduce a software a project management software okay so by accepting okay by accepting this uh, project so because our software will not be ready until two years time so by accepting this particular project so will it potentially cause any delay in our software completions and implementation uh, so this is another issue that you can consider okay now so over here now you can see that your cost is 19 million and you have a total revenue of uh, 21 so this gives you a profit of 2 divide 2 billion divided by 21 billion because it's a profit margin not so profit to sales so that will give you about uh, 9.5 uh, percent so that means now these are things that will give you two marks because number one you relate to the financial issue okay where the organization target okay this is a financial issue organization target eight percent okay so and you prove that this project is suitable okay because it yield a projected profit margin of 9.5 okay now besides this all right uh, what else that we can raise okay now we can also talk about the risk involved the site uh, software okay the site software all right now basically from the question okay this is definitely a non-financial issue now uh, we were told okay that we are going to have a site smart initiative okay so we are going to introduce a software a project management software okay so by accepting okay by accepting this uh, project so because our software will not be ready until two years time so by accepting this particular project so will it potentially cause any delay in our software completions and implementation uh, so this is another issue that you can consider okay now uh, what about the uh, acceptability okay so SAF so acceptability okay now in terms of acceptability okay okay so what about in terms of uh, SWOT analysis okay now we can actually use the information from the question and uh, remember that the project that we are going to undertake is actually in uh, beetle okay so what happened here is uh, the 
location is in a uh, mountainous terrain. Okay, so now it is a bit different from our previous project. Okay, where we are in uh, flatland. Okay, and now what is the problem is uh, we have been making losses. Okay, in our previous investment, so we have been making losses and. Uh, Bear in mind, this is a flat land investment, building roads, constructing roads on a flat land versus beetle who may be in a mountainous terrain. So we may not have the experience. Okay, so this is an, another issue that you could have raised. So from here, now we can see that you already raised uh, three issues. So six marks is yours. Okay, then moving on a little bit further. Now we will look at what about the stakeholders okay so acceptability now when we discuss on acceptability so we are basically talking about the acceptance okay the acceptance of the strategy to stakeholder okay and if you look at the information within the question i think the company or the ceo mentioned about stakeholder first so we want to consider what is the impact on the stakeholder okay and in terms of this question i think there is two stakeholder that you can discuss on which is the shareholder and also the local community okay the local community within beetle okay so local community okay so these are the two stakeholders that we can consider okay so the very first one is in terms of our shareholders yes the project has a projected profit margin of 9.5 so it is a profitable project it will be welcomed by the shareholders but student will get better credit if you are able to talk about the impact of the investment on the payment of dividend now the company recently was able to increase the dividend so will accepting this project affects the company's ability to maintain the same dividend dividend payout so shareholders would not accept okay if there is any implication on the company's ability to maintain the same dividend payment okay so this is another financial issue okay now what about the local community now as we know that there are some issues okay once the constructions has started okay so now these are issues that we have to consider okay so uh, what about the problems with the local community okay will they uh, accept the project what about the implication on the environment okay so this will go under the non-financial issue Okay, and finally, okay, is in terms of uh, feasibility. Okay, so in terms of feasibility, okay, so basically the we are looking at when we consider feasibility, we are looking at the strategic. Okay, we are looking at the strategic capability. Okay, we are looking at the strategic capability of the company or CC to implement. Okay, and in this case, we will consider the resources and also the competences. Okay, so in terms of resources, we can raise the issue of supplier. So are we able to find supplier in this new market that we intend to invest in bear in mind we were previously in the other two market number two we are do we able to recruit the staff that we need culture issue okay 
And what about loan? Okay, now the positive side that you should discuss is the government. Okay, support in terms of uh, providing an assurance guarantee for our loan. Okay, so we may be find we may find it easier to raise loan, but you will get more credits if you are able to discuss on currently your company has a loan that due in three years, which you will refinance by taking another new loan. So will this project result in further borrowing that can actually affect any of the condition attached to your existing borrowing? Okay. And uh, competences. Okay. Now, when we talk about competences, okay, to complete, so definitely we have to highlight on the terrain. Okay. So these are issues, okay, that you can raise. So you have another three point here. You have another uh, three. Okay. So you have three here. And uh, that wraps up your point. Okay. So bear in mind, make sure your discussion fits a two marks. Uh, aspect of the SBL exam. Okay, so it doesn't look that difficult if you follow this particular model to stimulate your thinking of deriving the answer. Okay, now as uh, I promised earlier in the video that there's something I would like to share here on the question two. So CC has been awarded a contract to build the road. Okay, prepare a memo address to Oliver which critically evaluate, okay, evaluate the outline content of and the summary of the operational issues of this. Okay, now he has prepared for your review the outline content. Okay, so actually this part of the question is very very similar to the APM, where students are required to evaluate the report. Okay, so you know a lot of time if you are taking APM, okay, or if you have been under me for APM, you will realize that one of the examiner's favorite is evaluating performance report. So apparently in this part of the questions, you are given for marks which is very similar to APM marks allocation prepare a memo which critically evaluates the outline content and the summary of the e operational issues in the project initial initiation uh, document so this is very very similar okay the style you approach okay it's very similar to uh, the APM evaluate performance report so that wraps up my discussion on the uh, SBL recent September 2018 exam. So hope this video is uh, useful for your upcoming exam. See you in the next video.